We know our historical past through variety of sources. While you are teaching the subject history, which is an important part of social sciences, you need to talk about sources. Sources are primary as well as secondary. To engage child in a meaningful understanding of our past, we need to expose them through variety of sources. I will be now showing some of the sources through which we understand our historical past. The first source that I would like to show you is a picture of the Quit India movement. This picture will give you how people participated and what was the strategy of repression. Here you can see this picture. This will connect the child with the movement in itself. This is a, another visual which will give you the light of the leaders as well as the lead. This is also a way of making the study of a movement very interesting and engaging. Now I will show you another visual which is a collection of stamps. This is an important collection of stamps. Philately is an important hobby which children enjoy. When you show them stamps related to a movement, the subject becomes interesting. Here is a collection of stamps on the Quit India movement. This you can show in your teaching and learning process. By showing this, you can bring the children to do this activity themselves in their homes. The second that I would like to show you is the newspaper clippings that appear during a particular point of time. This is a newspaper clipping of a paper called The Statement. Many papers were in circulation during the freedom struggle. This paper gives you the light of how people were capturing. You can make a collage and show the children different aspects of a movement. This is an example that you can show. Now I do take you to another. This is another visual that you can see of cartoons. Cartoons are something which children like to enjoy and this is a cartoon that appeared during that time. The home political files available in the National Archives also are very important resources for understanding the freedom struggle of India. Messages in these files also contribute to our knowing about what leaders had to say to motivate the people. I will now read out one of the message motivating you to collect the same from your lived context. They could be in different languages. The language that I am going to talk to you is English and this is the quotation that I would like to share. Mahatma Gandhi's message to the nation, feel that you are free. Every man is free to do the fullest length under ahimsa, complete deadlock by strike and other non-violent means. Satyagrahis go out not to live but to die. It is only when the individual goes out to seek or face death that the nation will survive. Do or die. That was the clarion call for the Quit India movement. This you can see in the files at the National Archives. These files are now digitally available and you can also explore it while sitting at your home. Another message which will motivate you is from the Hindu 29th July 1942. Anarchy is always preferable to slavery as there is hope of independence arising out of anarchy, declared Sardar Vallabhai Patel at a press conference this morning Ahmedabad, July 28th. He said that while the previous movements were in some way or the other restricted in scope, the present movement was not and it was likely to command greater public support than the previous one as the people were prepared for it. So you can see leaders of the Quit India movement gave messages to the people which were highly inspirational. Another important detail which you would like to interestingly explore is the operation of secret radio. They were secretly monitored by the police but the messages continued and many eminent leaders of our freedom struggle were connecting with the people through this secret radio. These radios keep, kept people posted about 
the underground activities which many of our freedom fighters were accustomed to and they were undertaking during this period of time. This is an important primary source. Another resource that you can consult for making the teaching of history joyful are pamphlets. In your vicinity, there will be many pamphlets that you can see. They may belong to any period, but here I will be sharing with you one interesting pamphlet. I will read out the content that is the women of India message by Mahatma Gandhi. Just as the destruction of article full of plague germ is the best action from the economic point of view, so is the destruction of foreign cloth to the best action of all. Your blessings can be fruitful by discarding your foreign cloth and by spinning away in leisure hours for the benefit of the nation. Such kind of pamphlets were available in different languages. Start collecting them and start describing them, analyze them critical so that the teaching of history becomes very engaging and interesting. Now I will be showing you a picture of monument because many of our uh, context have different historical remnants and these buildings will give you a sense of history and a sense of time. This is a monument that shows the name of people who participated in the Quit India movement. Such like monuments are available showing different periods of history, showing different time span. You can go and visit them because the idea is not only to see but also to instill in you the idea of preservation and conservation. So buildings also are a very important resource and a primary one to get a knowledge about historical past. Many of you use coins. Now coins also have history. If you see the coin today and you see the coin of bygone days, you can talk about the metallic worth. You can see what inscriptions are there in the coin. It also gives you a sense of economy, a sense of trade. So together, primary resources will help you to get a holistic picture of our historical past. Some you have seen, some you have to collect to know what you are going to study, what you are going to know and it will connect you with time, space and institution. Now let me show you a small picture that I have prepared on a chart because you can also make one and make the teaching joyful. That is the secondary source. Now this secondary source gives you the name of women who participated in a movement. Movements are many but here I am giving you a view of the Quit India movement that you can prepare and show your students. Now this is about a visual that shows you the names of women who participated in Assam. You must have read about Matangani Hazra and you must have read about many of the leaders who women leaders who contributed at this particular point of time. Here are the names of those women whose names men are mentioned hairline in different sources. This I have collected from the secondary source. So you can yourself appreciate that primary and secondary sources are important to weave our historical past. These are the few names of women who left their mark on the pages of history. Let us now understand that when we mix the text and the context, the subject becomes interesting, imaginative, creative. So let us now join together and bring experiential learning as one of the important component of teaching and learning of history.